United Airlines, in their infinite wisdom, has decided to switch planes on me. So, for both flights. So I'm in the middle seat, and when I booked a window seat. Literally, the first thing I see in San Francisco is a duck band. Cool, isn't it? It's like one of those old hotels from the, the 20s or 30s. I guess it is, actually. I'm in number 71, which is modern, furnished. No bathroom, just a bed, a TV, and a desk. Cheap, but enough. And my dinner tonight, chicken bento and green tea in an apple. This, in case you were wondering, is the Folsom Street Fair. that weren't obvious. This is Ernie. because they used to, um, they would actually show old classic movies like Seven Samurai or Akira on that wall right there. Oh really? Yeah. Usually, 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 uh, it's like, it's like, obviously, some, it's always a black and white movie. Sometimes it's Italian. Um, yeah. This is so cool. <laughs> San Mateo. Kind of uh, missed my train. It's been an hour. Lots of Chinese restaurants, surprisingly, I guess. Well, not surprisingly, since it's California. I like my 
my gym with line. Riding on the super cheap makes traveling mighty fine. Relax and have a highball on the San Antonio. Interestingly, we do not see any people walking this bridge, which makes me wonder if it's close to pedestrians. And here we are in Lexington, Kentucky. This is Midway, Kentucky. Don't get us. And my paranoid brother and sister-in-law. There's a car. Wow, a car. Horse farm country. This is Gilliam Dorm. That's Davis Baker. But, oh, and that's Grand Lee. But, Gilliam, which back then did not have locks and passcodes and shit, was where I was my freshman year. I would walk this path almost every day from my dorm over to the house which is not there anymore, sadly, the International House. Oh wait, oh it's there, it says this house is not there. Okay, this house, this house has been torn down but the International House is still there. And this was my room. Has my window. Oh well, you can have my window. And this uh, unsightly mess of a building was the International House. Now it's the Hill House. Gender Studies Resume Center. We used to sit out there. My friend Victor lived up there where he would frequently get drunk. And I lived inside. Just inside there. Anyway. It hasn't really changed much, to be honest. I wonder if that hill is uh, in honor of Dr. Harold Hill. I don't know. Maybe. GLBTQ Resource Center. Now that's the change. That's a big change. <laughs> this is the back porch where George would park his, his brand new Saab and his girlfriend of OT. The porch has not been repaired in 20 years, looks like. Oh, 
Oh man, I've said some embarrassing things on this campus. <laughs> man. Well, no reason to stop now. Let's keep going. This is Gaines Hall, which was just built when I moved in. Sophomore year. And all the trees have grown up. Oh, it's almost like a different place. This is where I lived. I lived here. In that room. That was our window. And now I'm sort of remembering why I didn't take so many decent pictures at WNL. Visually, it's just not that interesting. I mean, for my style of photography anyway. This, I think, used to be the co-op. It was like this big, messy cafeteria thing, and now it's all elegant, like, very bizarre. Doop chewing, guy gentle. And that's the famous colonnade. Kind of blocked off now, a little bit. And I've walked down this path many times, on many occasions. With Professor Hill, he used to uh, criticize my Taiwanese accent on this path. All those S's, he's like, don't do that. And we originally started Chinese over there, but that red house over there is where we did most of our studies. It's still East Asian languages and literature. Wow, look at that. After all these years. That's, that's where we had a class in a little room. It's also where I had my thesis defense, which was almost disastrous. And upstairs was Dr. Hill's office. Newcomb Hall. I had history here with Dr. Jeans, and Dr. Jeans hated my guts. Probably with good reason. But, he taught me quite a bit. And this is the library. Which doesn't seem to have changed much. And this is the old J school. And this is the bridge over Woods Creek to the field. We don't really go out there much. Being athletic, being inclined. Woods Creek. You can't really see it. In winter, you can see it really well because there's no leaves. But, anyway. Back in the day, our coach, Norman Lord, told us to run up and down these stairs. But of course, nobody did. This is VMI. Right there is the Marshall Library where I used to do research for my thesis. And then up here is the parade grounds. Where I used to take trumpet lessons with Captain Brody, who was probably now like colonel or something. And I actually used to sleep in the barracks there. You can see them out there now, 20 years later. This place has not changed. This is where we had band rehearsal.
this is the mall. Not very different. Some of the buildings have been incorporated. These two used to be, this used to be in two or three buildings. Now it's one. This thing is new. No idea what it is. Don't really care. I used to run up and down this colonnade with trails of uh, computer programming paper for computer science. From Tucker Hall all the way to the, where the, the computers were. That's how primitive they were. The library is like four or five levels of various 70s colors. I don't think anything has changed. I don't even know if they've got any new books. That's the uh, library, back of it. And this is Woods Creek at night. And on the other side of this bridge are the Woods Creek apartments where many of the older students live. Beautiful, beautiful sound. Very peaceful. I'm beginning to remember why I was so eager to get out of this place. And there are elements within the, the faculty especially, Dr. Hill, Professor Di Maria, others, uh, some of the students, but most were just from some other planet. I'll use the name, I'll use the degree. But I'll never belong to W now. I never did, I never will. If there's one place I ever belonged on this campus, it was here. The old international house, the IHOP. And this is the alley behind the dining hall. And I used to walk this alley all the time, going from my dorm over to see Boogie at Chavis House, which is down there. They're playing the same music. It's been 20 years and they're playing the same damn music that we played. Can you believe that? Nothing has changed. Let's see. People don't believe this was built 20 years ago. But it was, I was here. I was here, to be exact. Where it all began. And this is where I used to spy on underclass friend of mine. Yeah, I was nasty. Still am. This is Evan's dining hall, where I ate a tremendous amount of donuts. It's like 10.30, downtown Lexington. Deserted, completely deserted. This is my uh, cute little old hotel room in Lexington. Its hotel was built in 1803, probably without modern facilities. It was on Main Street, right near Dubby now. As you can notice, it's kind of slanted to one side. I think the building is slowly falling on its side, but hopefully that won't happen too soon. 
So here I am walking through campus again, over to the gym school. It's so weird to be back. It feels so small. And not really small in a comfy kind of way. The chapel in the colonnade. The falling leaves. I remember this smell. It's a wonderful smell. This was one of the first glimpses I ever had of this place. Whiskey, bourbon. Based on the color I see. The uh, tax has not yet been paid on it. <laughs> uh, so technically, uh, you know, if you were to drink any of this, uh, you would be, it'd be akin to uh, violating federal law and because it, it would be akin to being moonshine at that point. just finished barbecuing or grilling some meat. This is my brother's house. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> it's video. Classic Americana hamburgers and hot dogs. Exactly. Eat your heart out. And the pool. Saltwater pool. Very nice. What card? Oh, I'm card in the thing. What card? She put a card in on the thing. What? Yeah? Yeah, I'm filming you. Uncle Chris meet our cousin Will. Will meet our Uncle Chris. Hello. You're, you're going to be famous someday. Look at this great card for the family. I do. <laughs> there you go. Avery was on this big kick the other day and she goes, This is uh, a shaker community. It's really nice, really pleasant, and uh, interesting. Very simple architecture. The whole lack of sex thing, I guess, really didn't work out for the long term future of the shakers. So they kind of died out. But they sure did leave some beautiful buildings. I wonder if certain grasses taste better than other grasses. Mm. Right. Grass again today. <laughs> we just had grass. of dogs.
really, really big sandwiches. And there's the smoke of smoke. Yeah, that's Oklahoma for you. Okra. Okra should be fried. This is the only way you should have okra. Fried okra. Debbie cakes. I used to love these. We're at Target. And there is 87 kinds of everything at Target. Yep. It is embarrassing. Goodwill, and you're more than willing to dig through There's a wetsuit out there. Okay. There's a very tiny wetsuit. Wet it's it's wet a, it I was going to save it for Jake, but for, uh, it's like two years away from Jake's age. I personally came here and asked. Okay. Why? 
目屎，拢掺伫一个土。